boys and girls and welcome to QI or Quite Ignorant. This is the game show designed to dispel myths and have a laugh. This episode is focused on LGBT studies. So let's get started shall we? Firstly, I'd like to welcome our panellists. This is Connor, Emma, Kieran and Susie. What does LGBT stand for? Does that not take a sandwich? Let's go buy tortoises. They're all quite ignorant answers, I'm afraid. The correct answer is lesbian, gay, bisexual and transgender. So, the next question is, how do you spot an LGBT person? Right, I know from first time experience that also means glitter. Short hair. Uh, the gay And uh, what does that look like? <laughs> no, 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 you're doing it all wrong. Oh. <clears throat> <clears throat> Yet again, these answers were really quite ignorant. The correct answer is you cannot actually tell. These are stereotypes which people have made up. They expect LGBT people to conform to them, but they're actually myths. Right, okay, so moving on. Next question. What should an LGBT person do if they are the victim in a hate crime? Absolutely nothing because they brought it on themselves. Tell someone who cares like one of their own kind. Go and tell the fairy godmother. Um, wrong again. These answers were by far quite ignorant. The correct answer is you report it. You report it to the police or you can report it to any third party reporting site. Um, what is a third party reporting site? A third party reporting site is a place within a community where trained staff are available to take the information down anonymously and then they forward it to the police. Uh, if you can stay tuned at the end of the show, we will give you more information. Moving on to the next question. How many lesbian and gay people have experienced bullying in the workplace in the past five years? All of them, because they all deserve it. None, because it, it's all just a bit of banter. Well, they do bring it on themselves. Well, again, we have some quite ignorant answers. There is a correct answer to this one. It's nearly one in five lesbian and gay people have experienced bullying in the workplace. Now, we are going to take a short break and we shall be back right after these messages. Don't go anywhere. How does it begin, like the storyline? Because like, every oh, single one like, of them is different. Like, there's like a zombie outbreak and it's just ridiculous. I mean, that was oh never my happened. god! <laughs> Zombies didn't discriminate. Daily Onion. The Walking Dead. Season 3. Coming soon. which are commonly known to be, I'd say, the most popular with young people nowadays. Which one would you say included the highest proportion of positive and realistic portrayal? None of them, because no one actually wants to see that on TV. It's a disgrace. Um, I would say Channel 4, because I think left wing, and they'd show a lot of that kind of stuff. <laughs> Congratulations, that's the first answer of the show, which has actually been correct. Well, for the next question, I have five guests who will assist me. Please, come here. <laughs> so, panellists. This is a team question, therefore you can confer with your neighbour. Can you 
spot the lesbian? Is it one, lesbian, two, lesbianist, three, les Dennis, four, les go mental, or five, les miserable? <laughs> Well, number one has short hair and sensible shoes, so it must be her. Aye, but the last one on the right has sensible shoes on. Aye, number two has short hair and a checked shirt, so it could be her. Oh, this is really hard. Number two keeps looking at me, so I think it's her. But then number three's giving me the eye now as well, so... <laughs> yeah, I still think it's number three. I'm afraid I'm going to need an answer, guys. Can you give me your answer? We think it's all of them. Can you give me your answer? We think it's three. Well, I can tell you that you are both wrong. Any one of the women in the lineup could be gay. There is no defining characteristic uniform or hairstyle that identifies a lesbian. A recent survey of 273 young people aged between 13 to 25 years of age was carried out by LGBT Youth Scotland. What percentage, your question is, do you think stated that they had experienced homophobic bullying in the schools? What is homophobic bullying? Homophobia is the irrational fear, dislike or hatred of those who are, those who think that they may be, and those that people think are, well, LGBT. Because I didn't think there was such a thing. I don't think they deserve it because they make themselves a target by not being normal. Um, I would say probably about 50%. Being bullied for being different is just a part of life. I don't see why it's such a big issue. You have surprised me by these quite ignorant answers. The correct answer, and again we do actually have a correct answer, 69% of young people have experienced homophobic bullying. Well, I'm afraid that's the end of the show, and the winner tonight is Connor and Emma, with only one correct answer. The answers this evening have been quite ignorant, and I hope that all of you in the audience and at home have learnt something. I know I have. If you wish to know more, then please keep watching, as a list of support and information websites will be shown at the end. Please join us next week for another educational show. This time, it's about cows. So. All that needs to be done is to say thank you to our panellists for this lovely evening, our wonderful studio audience, and of course, all those viewers at home. Thank you and good night.